everyone. Uh, welcome to Play Stocks. I'm happy to get Terry Christopher of Zonti back on here today. So, explain a bit the recent drill results and plans for the next drill program. So, congrats, Terry, on the discovery there at uh, K6. Uh, so, first off, I guess, uh, could you explain maybe the importance of these results and how they're going to guide the next drill program? Yeah, so let me share. Let me share a um, uh, a screen with you. Great. Okay, so we'll we'll just talk uh, briefly about some of the results that we recently received from our thin section and scanning electron microscope work. They're important for the understanding the process of mineralization at the K six target that we uh, that we uh, recently uh, drilled and made a, a, a looks like an early stages of discovery there. Uh, of course, cautionary statements. Um, this this is the main image from the pre, uh, sort of the press release that we put out on the K6 drill results. And up here we have the drill hole number six, and number six has just over 34 meters of 0.1 copper. And down here in number five, we had just over 11 meters of 0.4 copper. There's a change in the physical characteristics. Um, that we see that we that we observed while core logging and it also points to in, in, important information on, on the system that put the mineralization in but what we're the basic assumption that we have right now based on our data is that there's an increasing in pressure going down down uh, depth and we anticipate if this continues and coppers deposit uh, at deeper intervals we should see higher grades is one of the things that we're, we're going to test in the next upcoming drill program here. Okay. I'm going to show you a couple images. Uh, you know, we didn't put any imagery in the press release, but this these next two slides will show you the differences in the mineralization, the character of mineralization. Um, in all cases here, you're looking at uh, calcocyte in various colors. Uh, it can be brassy color and this is a brassy colored calcocyte coming in on a fracture, uh, a fracture here in the drill core. Here's some more metallic looking calcocyte uh, on a fracture set as well. These, these images are from the drill hole that's close to surface. And this is the main difference we're going to see. We'll, we'll see close to surface, we get the mineralization on fractures only. And as we go deeper, we'll, we'll, we'll actually see uh, differences in the mineralization. Here's a picture of some of the K6 core, just looking at the core, and you can't see mineralization unless you turn the core, uh, look at these fractures on the, uh, on the ends here. Um, basically, it's, it's a top of the system. We believe it's the top of the system, and the system had just enough pressure to push the mineralization through these uh, developed fracture sets here and not enough to like sort of blast through the rock. And, and that's the differences we're seeing from this hole to the next hole. Here's, here's an example uh, of some drill core um, from the deepest hole, which is number five. And this particular sample is at 161 meters and the sample ran 1.4% copper. Here, we'll see a veinlet, we'll see a veinlet coming through here. You can see the metallic sh shine on it here. That's calcocyte veinlet coming through. We've seen a whole bunch of these cutting the, the mass of the core, uh, which is a different character because there's more pressure in the system. So it's likely going to show up as more veining. And that's, that's what, we're, what we uh, observed in the thin section work. The thin section work also highlighted a couple other important things we now know so far, uh, based on the drilling we have and the work we've done, <clears throat> we know the, the the fluid character that took the or the the character the character of the, the hydrothermal system that brought the copper in and deposit. We also think we understand right now the mechanism of deposition. What you know, what happened here for this copper to precipitate? As uh, you know, we believe we have a better understanding of that. And with all that we are able now to um, go back and look at K6 again and then have a, a better feel for you know what we're going to do which is uh, exhibiting this core which is just a, a cut of the cross section again but we're going to go deeper we're going to drill underneath we're going to drill underneath five uh, this is hole number five we'll drill deeper in, in here we think 
the system is going to is going to continue down based on the um, the geology, geochemistry, and the geophysics. Actually, uh, so so we we believe that we have a potential for uh, better grades, hopefully at depth here. And what what about here what? is our new uh, well, it's not new, I guess. Here is our target that we have at K6 based on all the data we have right now. What you're looking at is the drill plan that uh, for the K6 drill holes. The cross section we looked at was just through here. And you'll see, uh, you know, we, we'll see that, uh, you know, we're, we're sort of following along a certain trend in here. We see this on surface and we see it also as well in, in, the, in the drilling as well. We believe there's actually a a fault running through here that may cut it off. And that's why we never saw anything in the hole number one. We still need to do a little bit of work on that one. Well, what's interesting here is also number seven, which sits out here. You know, we had spotty mineralization over an interval. Uh, and if you do a comparison to what we drilled in some of these other holes through this main section here, we believe that this hole hit is just hitting the top of the mineralization number seven. So we need to go back and drill underneath. And this is this is the target area. So we're going to be drilling deeper holes underneath this whole system here in, in the next phase here. <clears throat> so you'll be and, drilling between seven and six there as well. Sorry, what was that? You'll be drilling in between hole seven and six as well. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll, we're going to be drilling a number of holes uh, through, uh, you know, we'll do sort of more of on a grid pattern, of, you know, probably two or three holes in between as well, and one underneath seven. We also are going to come back here. We have uh, indications that this, uh, we can see the mineralization based on a whole bunch of uh, aspects in, in the data set. We, we think that the mineralization is here as well, and so, so we'll test that one as well. And so, so there's a whole series of holes that we'll drill underneath this, this target area to push to see if this is deeper, uh, you know, if this, you know, hypothesis we have is accurate. Okay. Here's a, and th this is the last slide as well. I just wanted to show you, a, this is a deposit from Brazil. It's an IOCG system. Um, and I was trying to come up with an analogy on, uh, you know, what our K6 looks like at th these early days uh, to, to another deposit out there. And this one is fairly similar. Without going into the details, there's there's a lot of geological, uh, there's basically a geological break in here, uh, you know, that's separating, or, or I guess where the uh, fluids were deposited. We see the same in our drill core as well, uh, you know, and for scale, this is 200 meters, right? And so, you know, this is a relatively deep, uh, deep deposit. It goes as quite a nice tonnage there as well. So this is what the model that we're working with right now that we're going to test. So we'll step back, you know, we're, we're basically, you know, we're, we're looking up here in the very top of the, you know, top of the system. We want to come back and test deeper down underneath this to see if it continues. So that's our next phase of, of drilling here. Okay. Uh, yeah, so K6 is look, looking pretty good. I know there's a lot of other targets. Uh, many of them, you know, they they look there are bigger. There's some maybe better soil anomaly anomalies. Uh, so what's the plan? Are you going to test any of these others soon, or what are you thinking in that regard? We're going to focus on K6 right now. Um, we are probably going to start looking seriously at the target just south of K6, which we call the K6 South slash K7 target. And that target is uh, kind of intriguing as well um, because we see similarities in the rocks, uh, you know, through, on surface through both K6 and the target to the south of us. And one thing, one thing we've not really addressed is we in the bottom of K six, uh, sorry, hole number six here, that we that we drilled, we started to pick up a tiny bit of copper at the bottom of the hole, and you can see it in right in here. What's interesting about this, um, and I, I'm going to share a different screen uh, because this is quite intriguing here. The the next screen is going to be a little bit more technical, but uh, it'll show you. So here's our um, our data set here. The set, can you see it? Sorry, can you see the uh, the imagery here? Uh, Ron? Yeah. yeah no, okay. So this is this, this this interval down here is the bottom of of uh, hole number six. 
it's about 150 meters below the surface. And what we uh, discovered after you know, we start looking at all the data, and I'm gonna turn on one uh, data slice. It's gonna be the magnetic data at 150 meters deep. And just keep an eye on, just keep an eye on this section right in here. And so when you turn on the 150 meter depth, what we saw, what we're seeing here is this is the K6 target we're, just, we're drilling now, focusing on. This is a magnetic data set. And this is the K7 data uh, just south of it. So what this hole actually looked like it did, it started to go out and it passed through a, sort of a, an area of weak air and magnetics. It started passing into the uh, K7 target. So, and the mineralization in that interval is similar to some of the stuff higher in our drill core in, um, it, it, you know, it, in some of the holes that we intersect copper. So we also, you know, we've also identified, uh, you know, some, you know, copper on the surface here, K6 South and K7 are kind of covered mostly, but we've now identified, uh, you know, a number of areas with some, you know, we've, we've seen native copper out there. We've seen some bornite calcopyrite as well. So, so we're, we're probably going to start working on that. We've actually got a crew in the field right now process out of the ground, but we're also, uh, you know, we're going to uh, work on a number of targets. Uh, they're presently, I believe, now sampling uh, south of our big K target. We have some initial data from last year, soil data, for example. We believe the K6 target could be bigger than what we anticipate or what, what we have right now. Uh, we do see it in the geophysics. We want to confirm in the geochemistry, and we also will uh, infill some uh, K10 uh, grid lines, and that'll be done shortly. And we're, we've also, um, I just got back from the field. We, we're starting to do some detailed mapping on, on the K1 target. And these are, this is basically the process to bring these, these to drill, sir, uh, to sort of to drill, drill stage. Okay. No, that all sounds uh, pretty interesting and uh, looking forward to the next drilling. That's going to start soon. I'm. Oh yes, uh, we um, uh, permits are in. I'm just anticipating getting the permit any day now. Uh, we'll start talking to. I'm heading back to Newfoundland here in a few days. We'll start talking to drill companies and stuff like that. So as soon as we get the permit, uh, we're ready to go. Actually, so the nice thing is we have we did a lot of prep work for the drilling uh, in uh, sort of uh, last fall. So we're we're in two days, we'll be ready to go, so. Okay, all right, sounds good. Uh, thanks for coming back on and giving us some detail here on, on this uh, exciting new discovery. Yeah, no, we're, we're excited. We, we've got, um, you know, we're starting to understand the geometry, uh, you know, how the mineralization is now in, in, in K6. We also understand a whole bunch of aspects from our recent uh, uh, scanning electron microscope work, which adds a lot of value to us. So we definitely have a model we're going to chase down and, you know, it's, it's exciting. We're excited. This is, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're slowly making uh, significant progress now. Okay. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Terry. And uh, we'll check in after the next uh, drill program. Okay. Great. Thank you, Ron. Thanks for having us on again. Okay. Bye for now.